A dying mother who won't give up until she finds the man who kidnapped and killed her daughter 10 years ago. An ex-detective back on the case when a similar incident occurs. Where have we heard this storyline before? If you're thinking the Korean film montage, then you're 100% right, as now it's China's attempt to remake the Korean thriller after the dismal failure of the Indian version in 2016. Hi, I'm the Artie Dance from Asian Film Fans and welcome to this review of the Chinese mystery thriller The Guilty Ones. And I really hope this is the last time montage is remade. A young girl is kidnapped from the beach while her grandfather is distracted by a phone call. The kidnapper makes strange demands using a synthesizer to disguise his voice. A young officer on the case, Wang Sing Sing, recognises similarities to a case he was assisting ex-officer Chen Hao with, and he enlists his help to capture the kidnapper. Meanwhile, the mother of the case Chen Hao was originally investigating 10 years ago decides she wants to get her revenge before lung cancer takes over her body. You know what? Have you seen Montage? Yes? Well then this is virtually exactly the same but with a few slight changes. The time frame is 10 years and not 15. The child is kidnapped from a beach and not the playground of an apartment complex. The mother is dying in the Chinese version and honestly, I don't remember if she was sick in the Korean version, but something tells me no. The case is still open in the Korean version, whereas it's a cold case in the Chinese version. In the Chinese version, the investigating officer is no longer on the force. And the train station cash swap is changed to a ferry boat and docks. But yes, there are some similarities. By the way, spoiler alert. The umbrella is still the most important clue, but like the Korean version, it still kinda really isn't explained. The concept of the traffic cameras and the location of the girl's death is the same. The grandfather is still an asshole and still far too agile for his age. And the ending is still unsatisfying. Obviously, it's not a better film than the Korean version but let's really be honest, the Korean version isn't that great either when you think about it. At the time, you probably loved it, but take a moment to reflect now. It really wasn't that good, was it? Watch this if you're a junkie who needs to see every version of Montage, and then let us know in the comments section what the Indian version's like. I don't have the footage to show the scene, but there is a scene in Chen Hao's apartment where he is playing on a cloned 8-bit Nintendo console with a bootlegged copy of Contra. The movie was that disinteresting that I was wondering more about how the producers would get around the issue if Nintendo or Konami were upset about the obvious pirated game used on the screen. Otherwise, like the Korean version, the money exchange scene is pretty interesting. As discussed in this version, it's set on the docks but the illusion is shattered when you realize it's the grandfather they're chasing after. And your first question is, how the f did the grandfather not only outrun younger Chen Hao, but the much younger, fitter and agile Sing Sing? And that'll be the point the movie loses your respect. I told you it was a memorable moment. Spoiler, we're supposed to believe that the mother riddled with cancer, was able to pull off this whole scenario? Seriously? This isn't even a movie you can sit down and enjoy and not have to wonder about what's going on, because the movie is always chopping the order around, making you keep track of what the characters are doing, and you'll probably just turn it off in frustration. If you're going to watch a below average thriller, you might as well watch the original, right? If you've seen it, what did you think? Thank you for watching this review. Please don't forget to press the like button and consider subscribing to our channel.